luckily, we've still got science fiction. Anyone here a fan of Star Wars? Anybody a Star Wars fan in here? Star Wars fans? Star Wars? Yes, thank you. Yes. A lot of single people in the audience tonight. Thank you. Tonight, uh, let's see, you'll be excited to hear that an R2-D2 unit from Star Wars sold at auction for $2.75 million. That's a lot of money, considering the Jawas originally threw R2-D2 in for free as a package deal with a translator droid. Okay? Yeah. I think, go watch the movie. It's a much funnier joke once you watch the movie. Okay, bad motivator. I think the buyer may have gotten taken for a ride because this R2-D2 won't interact with you because according to the auction house, no internal mechanics or workings are present. So it won't even do any of the fun beeps. For $2.75 million, you'd think that at least they'd install a smoke detector with a low battery in there. <laughs> and... Without any internal mechanics, you don't even get its spinny robot penis that has sex with computers in the Death Star. Oh, speaking of tiny penises, um, do you guys uh, remember the Pharma Bro and uh, the reason that your slapping hand is itchy, Martin Shkreli? He's the guy who bought the rights to a life-saving HIV drug called Daraprim then immediately hiked the price from $13.50 a tablet to $750 overnight. Now, 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 come on. Now, that sounds like pure evil. <laughs> when he testified under subpoena <laughs> to Congress about drug prices recently, Screlly did not exactly help his image. You could use that attention to come clean, to right your wrongs, and to become one of the most effective patient advocates in the country to press them to lower the price of these drugs. You can look away if you like, but I wish you could see the faces of people, no matter what Ms. Redslaff says, who cannot get the drugs that they need. And I truly believe, I truly believe, are you listening? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the gentleman from South Carolina would like to introduce a resolution that I get to jack slap Mr. Screlly until he is dedouchified. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Um, uh, Screlly's on trial, and this week, uh, right uh, down here in Brooklyn, they began jury selection for Screlly's trial on securities fraud. But there's a big problem. Martin Shkreli can't find jurors who don't already hate him. <laughs> Potential jurors who don't know him even said stuff like, I looked right at him, and in my head I said, that's a snake. <laughs> even, this is true, this is absolutely true, even the courtroom sketch artist couldn't resist making Shkreli look like Golem on trial. <laughs> for, like, pooping in a mall fountain or something. Evidently, People cannot stand his face, okay? Maybe he should cover it with something that makes him look more innocent. 